like as an undergrad, people would ask me questions like, well, where do you see your work within the history kind of, of art? And it always felt like a trap. My name is Naima Morgan, and I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I live in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, my show at Patron Gallery is called The Setup, and it includes a body of drawings titled Like It Is that I've been working on since 2010. Two new sculptures titled The Setup, as well as some prints from my series called Horror Horror. I started developing these sculptures that were related to some previous works, at least in, in theme, thinking about uh, structure and form and institutions, the power that they wield, the politics of institutions, thinking about storytelling, narrative, language. Um, and coming off the death of my mother in 2017, late 2017, the subject of catharsis was something that was weighed heavy on my mind. Dave Chappelle gave an interview. He was talking to David Letterman. And I remember since he quit that show, I'm sure I'm not the only one, I was like, but what happened? You know, like, what was the moment? What happened? They were rehearsing a sketch, and there was a scene where a black character, he does something, and then there was a particular thing. Every time he does it, Dave Chappelle comes out dressed like a piccaninny, I think, and does some wild gesture. And he was saying the white folks in the crew were just laughing too hard, like it was the wrong type of laughter. What was going on that summer, just in the world, um, in the country, dealing with, reconciling with the death of my mom, thinking about catharsis, and then thinking about that, you know, and jokes as an aesthetic kind of medium and like how jokes are structured and how they function. The title of the show is called The Setup, um, which is also kind of part of the anatomy of a joke. Um, but it also a reference to kind of like a trap, you know, which is something that's present in the horror, horror large works like this one behind me, um, where there are four near identical prints and they contain um, the same images, which is the image of uh, a mob, a lynch mob, looking out of, from the, um, looking out of the image at the viewer, looking at the work. There's also an image of a modernist uh, sculpture. And then there is text that refers to a fairy tale or a fable. A lot of the images that get used of lynch mobs focus on the there's a focus on the mangled body, the murdered, you know, the person who was murdered viciously. Um, and it just, it, tra it traumatizes me. You know, every time I would watch the news and people wanted to show, they more easily show images of black bodies, lifeless black bodies, than they do white bodies. And it's a, it's a, part, it's a way of objectifying black bodies, you know. Um, and so, but there in the picture was the mob. And they were often looking out. Some of them had wide eyes, some of them had smiles, they were talking to each other. And the focus, because you can't look away from the mangled, destroyed body of a person, the focus is there and then the, the mob is neutralized. You know, the people who are uh, complicit, they're neutralized, their gaze is neutralized. And so in this work, I wanted there to be a focus on them. And also I wanted the viewer to be implicated. So they're looking out and you can't avoid to meet their gaze, you know, it's kind of mirrored. History is very contrived and constructed you know, and a lot of things are left out and the story about history is usually constructed in a way to support this ideological system, you know. Um, and so I think about the images that are presented to us, 
how those images are framed or composed, the stories that are told to us, which stories, how language is used to tell those stories, um, and also with art history. So that's the kind of connection between the three images. That idea of just kind of surface, reading surface, and trying to understand the structure is present, kind of runs through all of the work. There's a lot of these moments in the work where I hope the viewer tries to reconcile these things and ask themselves questions about kind of what's underneath, what holds things together, what's, how do we read surface, um, the, any kind of politics of reading surface, you know, um, and the difference between, yeah, the surface and structure.